So let's try something different. Let's try and create a really cool little transponder device. And let's do that by using the free version of KitOps and the free decal pack by Sir Charles. And that's all we're going to use. So let's get started. Well, first, let's go ahead. I'm going to start off by going in and, lo and loading the factory defaults so that we're starting in a brand new scene, just as you will be doing. So if you're getting started with KitOps, this is a great way to start. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we've got to load the KitOps free add-on. And we do that by going into Blender Preferences, clicking the Install button, and I've located it on my desktop. And here it is right here. So I'll just select it and say Install Add-on. And once the add-on is installed, I'll turn it on. And I'm going to go over here. And if we look at this, we'll see that KitOps is here. And now we have a bunch of inserts as well as these are all the K-Packs. So we've got all these different kinds of K-Packs that come with the free version. Now, of course, if you get the pro version, you're going to get 300 inserts. This is only has about 30 or so. Might want to check out that pro version. Now we want to add the free decals. You can go to kidops.com and there, if you go to the store, you're going to see a lot of different K-Packs there down here. And most of these are for pay, but there's a couple that are actually pretty amazing. This Andrew Averkin, which is free, is is crazy. I mean, some really good stuff that they have in there. So the ones that I'm going to show you are the free ones. So let's go back and let's search for Gumroad and the Sir Charles free decals. And that's what this is right here. And if you want the, the of course, the KidOp free add-on, you need to go to Gumroad and look for KidOps free and you'll get it there. So when we install K-Packs, it's going to be important that we follow a certain routine. So I'm going to go under preferences and I am going to go to my KitOps and I'm going to click on file pass and I'll hit the plus button. So what I'll do is I'm going to open the directory and I'll go to my desktop where I've located these. Now, this is what I downloaded, but I don't click on the zip. I need to uncompress that. And then once I've done that, here's what I get. I get this folder and I'm going to double click on it and keep double clicking until I get to a folder with blend files. And then I'll go up one level and say accept. And then when we're done, we'll save the preferences and we'll come over here. And now we'll look and we'll see that we have here are all the free decals that came with Sir Charles's free decal pack. Good to go. 